Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company. Great to see you and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. I've got the boatless angler at the back of the boat. I'm going to work the front of the boat. I've got the electric motor in folks. We're just going to slowly work our way along here. Uh, today folks, we're looking for that smallmouth bass bite. And we're going to jig. In fact, we're using the flexi jig folks. And if you've never seen it, of course, the, the hook actually flexes down on the hook set, which changes the angle of the hook set. And on the flexi jig, first of all, I'm running a quarter ounce. That's a relatively new size that we have. And the reason I'm going with quarter ounce is because it's only like eight feet deep here. It's shallow. So a nice uh, light size is really all you need. Um, and it's not even windy. So quarter ounce is plenty heavy. Uh, the next thing I'm running, I've got the schoolie minnow. I went with the color called dark shadow. Um, I know it's a light day, but it's going to give off a dark shadow. <laughs> so, so I decided to go with the black flexi jig and a dark shadow um, schoolie uh, swim bait. Now, Antonio, I think went with you went with uh, chartreuse, Antonio. Chartreuse, yep. And you went with a different color schoolie as well, right? I don't know what color it's called, but yeah. Okay. Well, I brought a bunch of colors with me, folks. I brought all colors with me, and we're just going to bounce these. Now you could also, oh, look at that. Okay, that's not good. So if you get you get weed or moss like that on your, on your lure, you're not gonna trigger any hits. So that has to be clean, clean, clean. Clean it off and get it back out there again. Okay, so it's gonna be the technique. You could also, we're gonna bounce these back, but the schoolies are swim baits. You could actually swim them back and work them like a lure as you can any swim bait. So with a swim bait, the thumper tail, you got the choice. Swim it back or bounce it back. We're gonna bounce and hopefully bounce our way into a few fish. Stay tuned, folks. And the boatless angler strikes first. It's not big. Were you bouncing it or swimming it? I was swimming it. Swimming it. You got the chartreuse on, eh? Chartreuse. All right. Let's get him landed. That's a nice little bass. Yeah. Beautiful small mole. Oh, look at that jump. You gotta love that, eh? They're a riot to catch, aren't they? They really are. Acrobatic. That's not even a big one. And there you go. Thank you. Nice little smallie there. Nice colors on them. Just gorgeous colors on that bass. Perfect Beautiful. hook set. Nice hook set? Yeah, I like the this schoolie swim bait, uh, Shad. You used a different color there. Lighter. You went lighter than I did. I went darker, you went lighter. Your schoolie is darker than that? Yeah. Oh yeah, you got the dark shadow. I got shadow. the dark shadow on. Okay. <laughs> so I might have to go lighter. We always like to use different baits. See what the fish are doing, what the, what the pattern is. If you can figure out the pattern. So if he gets one more on the lighter bait, I'll switch. Plus you got the chartreuse and I got the black, right? I hope I get one more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I think I got some moss. I'm gonna have to swim it. Too much moss here right here so much for the dark theory dark, it, eh? the dark is on yeah he nailed it so what i did after that last cast what happened was we're into this area that's full of moss let me just stop us here stop the electric because where there's one there's more so instead of bouncing it back as i mentioned before i was actually swimming it back so i swam it back towards me and he nailed it okay antonio i'll take that net he's just dogging it down there again not that big not that big come on mr smalley wow strong fish he's just dogging it look at him go <laughs> got your line now in my way yeah. i thought you're gonna have him in for right now well he's just <laughs> struggling there okay nice Good fish. that's another beautiful little small molt right there isn't that a nice bass again nice colors on that you know what I'm gonna grab a picture of this fish it's not big but the colors on it I love it quick photo and then we'll get them back in like they say pound for pound folks this bass is not that big but boy did he give me a nice little fight beautiful same with yours eh, Antonio yeah, they fight nice okay back in he goes now Here's the other thing, I mentioned I was swimming that. We're fishing relatively shallow water, under 10 feet. So what I like to do when you cast, cast it out. You, want, you don't want to make a big splash. So just before your jig or your lure 
hits the water, just pull back a little bit on your line and it'll make for a softer landing. So instead of just diving in, it's gonna go down and you just sort of pull it back a bit and make for a nice soft landing. So let's see here. So I'm so gonna get it out there and just before it hits, there. Just a nice little soft landing. And now, like I said, because there's so much moss here, uh, we're just um, retrieving these back in uh, and let that paddle tail just uh, work its magic down there. Okay, so looks like we're in the good zone. Hopefully we're getting some more fish, folks. That was fun. Oh boy, Antonio, right at the boat. Oh, that's a good fish. I saw him come up. Oh, let me get the net, let me get the net. That's a good bass. Nice fish. Oh, he nailed it, eh? If he ever. Oh, that's a good, good smallie. There you go, Antonio. Nice fish. Thanks. That's a solid three and a half for sure. That's a chunk. Maybe four. He's a good three and a half for sure. I'm going to say an honest three and a half. Wow, he nailed it. Did he ever? Wow. Maybe I'll take a photo for it. You know what? That's worth a photo right there. Maybe we'll post that one up for in Facebook and Instagram, Antonio. Sure. Where is my phone? Oh, it's over here. Okay. Let's grab a quick picture and we'll get him right back in the water. So here we go. And smile. Oh, gorgeous photo. What a nice fish. Look at that. That's a chunk. Beautiful fish. Okay, I got to get back in there again. This hoot is exciting fishing. Oh, 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 guess what folks, with this crystal clear water, I think that's a sheephead, Antonio. Yeah. I think so. Oh, it's got to be. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, they nail jigs too, right? This water, folks, is crystal, crystal clear. Just crystal. And with this light breeze, you can kind of see everything. That's a nice sheep head. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah that is hey, isn't that a nice sheep head? Look at the colors on this fish. Wow. Yeah, he's all tuckered out already. Gave me a bit of a run. Oh yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> there you go. Hey, nice. Kent. After that last big bass, I was excited when I set the hook on this one, thinking, no, oh, I got another nice bass. But you know what? That's okay, too. Hey, Good look fish. at that. That's a nice sheephead right there, folks. Hey, beautiful fish. Healthy, nice. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Easy there, buddy. Easy there, buddy. Boy, he wants to go. We're going to let him go. And away he goes. Yeah, he nailed it, folks, right on the crankhead. Let me just adjust the motor. Okay. What we're doing is we are just covering a lot of water. That's the technique, covering a lot of water. Got the electric motor in, casting left, casting right, and just covering water, looking for those aggressive fish. Whoa, Antonio. And it's working for us today, folks. I can tell you that. <laughs> I think I have a sheep head. You got another sheep head? Are we getting into the sheep head now? It should have jumped if it was a bass. Okay, you got a sheep head as well. I'll let you land them. Okay. Mr. Sheep Head. But you know what, folks? Covering water and having fun. That's what we're doing today. And if you haven't been out lately and you got yourself a beautiful day, get on out there and have some fun. Get a line wet. Cover water. That's what we're doing today. Antonio, you got a good one? <laughs> it's over on the Bring boat. it around the boat, come around here. Okay. This is works. like saltwater fishing, pandemonium, eh? Covering water. That's what it's all about right there. And there he goes. Okay. We're gonna have some fun with this fish, folks. Wherever you're tuning in from, like I said, if you haven't been out, get on out there and get a line wet, have some fun. I want to thank you for joining us on today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. You got a battle. What a fight. <laughs> nice tank. With sheep head. <laughs>
Gotta love that, eh? There you go.